Hi, I'm Dr. Dave. The optic nerve, also called cranial nerve II, transmits visual information from the retina to the brain. The optic nerve is the second of 12 paired cranial nerves but is considered to be part of the central nervous system as it is derived from an outpouching of the dencephalon during embryonic development. Consequently, the fibers are covered with myelin produced by oligodendrocytes rather than the Schwann cells of the peripheral nervous system and are encased within the meninges. Therefore the distinction of nerve is technically a misnomer, as the optic system lies within the central nervous system and nerves exist, by definition, within the peripheral nervous system. The optic nerve is unsheathed in all three meningeal layers, dura, arachnoid and PA mater, rather than the epineurium, perineurium, and endoneurium found on peripheral nerves, fiber tracts of the mammalian central nervous system, as opposed to the peripheral nervous system, are incapable of regeneration and hence optic nerve damage produces irreversible blindness. The fibers from the retina run along the optic nerve to nine primary visual nuclei in the brain. Whence a major relay inputs into the primary visual cortex. The optic nerve is composed of retinal ganglion cell axons and portort cells. It leaves the orbit, I, via the optic canal, running posteromedially towards the optic chiasm where there is a partial decussation, crossing, of fibers from the nasal visual fields of both eyes. Most of the axons of the optic nerve terminate in the lateral genitalate nucleus from where information is relayed to the visual cortex. Its diameter increases from about 1.6 mm within the eye, to 3.5 mm in the orbit to 4.5 mm within the cranial space. The optic nerve component lengths are 1 mm in the globe, 24 mm in the orbit. 9 mm in the optic canal and 16 mm in the cranial space before joining the optic chiasm. There, partial decussation occurs in about 53% of the fibers cross to form the optic tracts. Most of these fibers terminate in the lateral genitalate body. From the lateral genitalate body, fibers of the optic radiation pass to the visual cortex in the occipital lobe of the brain. More specifically, fibers carrying information from the contralateral superior visual field traverse Myers loop to terminate in the lingual gyrus below the calcarine fissure in the occipital lobe, and fibers carrying information from the contralateral inferior visual field terminate more superiorly. The eye's blind spot is a result of the absence of retina where the optic nerve leaves the eye. This is because there are no photoreceptors in this area. Each optic nerve contains around 1.2 million nerve fibers, which are axons of the retinal ganglion cells of one retina. In the fovea, which has high acuity, these ganglion cells connect to as few as five photoreceptors. In other areas of retina, they connect to many thousand photoreceptors. Damage to the optic nerve typically causes permanent and potentially severe loss of vision, as well as an abnormal pupillary reflex, which is diagnostically important. The type of visual field loss will depend on which portions of the optic nerve were damaged. Generally speaking, damage to the optic nerve typically causes permanent and potentially severe loss of vision as well as an abnormal pupillary reflex, which is diagnostically important. The type of visual field loss will depend on which portions of the optic nerve were damaged. Generally speaking, damage before the optic chiasm causes loss of vision in the visual field of the same site only. Damage in the chiasm causes loss of vision laterally in both visual fields, by temporal hemianopia. It may occur in large pituitary animata. Damage after the chiasm causes loss of vision on one side but affecting both visual fields. The visual field affected is located on the opposite side of the lesion. 
Injury to the optic nerve can be the result of congenital or inheritable problems like Leber's hereditary optic neuropathy, glaucoma, trauma, toxicity, inflammation, ischemia, infection, very rarely, or compression from tumors or aneurysms. By far, the three most common injuries to the optic nerve are from glaucoma, optic neuritis, especially in those younger than 50 years of age, and anterior ischemic optic neuropathy, usually in those older than 50. Glaucoma is a group of diseases involving loss of retinal ganglion cells causing optic neuropathy in a pattern of peripheral vision loss, initially sparing central vision. Optic neuritis is inflammation of the optic nerve. It is associated with a number of diseases, most notably multiple sclerosis. Anterior ischemic optic neuropathy is a particular type of infarct that affects patients with an anatomical predisposition and cardiovascular risk factors. Optic nerve hypoplasia is the underdevelopment of the optic nerve causing little to no vision in the affected eye. Ophthalmologists, particularly those subspecialists who are neuro-ophthalmologists, are often best suited to diagnose and treat diseases of the optic nerve. The International Foundation for Optic Nerve Diseases iPhone sponsors research and information on a variety of optic nerve disorders and may provide general direction. The optic chiasm or optic chiasma is the part of the brain where the optic nerves CNI. Partially cross. The optic chiasm is located at the bottom of the brain immediately below the hypothalamus. In Siamese cats with certain genotypes of the albino gene, this wiring is disrupted, with less of the nerve crossing than is normal, as a number of scholars have reported. To compensate for lack of crossing in their brains, they cross their eyes. Strabismus. This is also seen in albino tigers, as Gary and Kaz report. Thanks for listening. Goodbye.